guys, welcome to Vet Ranch Roundup. I'm Dr. Carrie. Thank you for coming to hang out with us this week. Um, I'm here with Kiki and Squeaky. Come here, Kiki. These are our super cool office companions. They are up for adoption together. I will post a link to their application here. If you want to find out about their story and get caught up on our videos, we try to put them out weekly. Uh, definitely take a look at a couple playlists I'm going to put up here. Um, and then also we have our regular vet ranch videos, which are cases from start to finish of just one animal at a time. And so I think you would enjoy those too. Without further ado, let's get started this week. We're trying, starting to get a little inundated and overloaded with cases, but we have lots of cute puppies to introduce you to. Some, some that came in when I was out for the break, um, which I'm meeting today for the first time. And then some that are coming in, I think a little bit later today. So let's just get started. How do I do anything with these kitties? They're so precious, they're so sweet. Okay, let's get started. Why do you hate C-sections? Stressful. <laughs> <laughs> Stressed out. Look at these babies! I'm so sad. We lost our darker little orange boy, Boo, early this morning. He just, out of nowhere, was flat and not eating and lifeless. I'm sure it's the same exact thing that mom had, which is devastating to me because you can see our little girl, B is still just tiny. So I'm scared every day that I'm gonna lose her, but she just keeps hanging in there. Where's your meow? What happened to it? Okay, I mentioned that we got some new animals in. These are some kitties. They're very shy because they just got here. Um, we intercepted them before they got taken to the shelter, thanks to Mallory. And they are really cute. So apparently these are two boys. I'll confirm that. And this is your mom, who's very scared. We're gonna grab a leukemia FIV test on her, and then go ahead and get them vaccinated, and then get them set up to get neutered because we need to do that so that we can Hopefully send them to Petco to get adopted. Test is negative. So we're gonna go ahead and vaccinate. I guess we'll just get an IPS whenever they go. Whoa, you're little. <clears throat> Said she might be pregnant, but she looks mm -hmm. very thin. Same color as Kiki. I feel like Kiki would be like, let me show you how to up to Petco because we have a partnership with them now to put our adoptable cats up there and I think it's gonna be huge for them and help them get adopted and at least get exposure now they can't adopt on site but they can see them and apply to adopt and that is gonna make all the difference as far as getting them seen by people people getting to pet them and interact with them so 
Fingers crossed we get a lot more adoptions. me last night and said they had they said nine but there's eight owner surrender puppies that came in and we had a volunteer pick them up this morning and they look rough real rough really itchy really scaly stinky um so we're gonna get protective gear on in case it is contagious sarcoptic mange and then do their preliminary exams and figure out what's going on with them scraping of the puppies this is a sarcoptic mange mite um, this is what we associate with scabies when you hear people saying um, they had scabies or a cat had scabies and I have never seen a slide with so many scabies eggs on it I'll try to find an area where there are a bunch of eggs and show you okay I'm gonna try to focus in and out but all of these here these are eggs and so these little scabies are just happy. They found the perfect hosts, but this is super contagious. So we are gonna have to be really careful handling them. Here are the puppy stool sample. They have tons and tons of roundworms and hookworms. I probably can't find the hookworms driving like this, but anyways, they are loaded with parasites. I bet they're gonna pass a lot of worms in their stool overnight since we deworm them. If you're lucky, we'll show you a video of it. Okay, here's our puppies this morning. It's been about 30 minutes since we've cleaned their cage. And this is the story of puppies. Uh, you clean their cage, you get them all good, and bam, they do this. We can't deny it. It is an endless job taking care of puppies. They seem, they seem a lot more comfortable today. Uh, we, they do have some runny stool. They had a lot of parasites. I think I see some a worm in that poop right there. But this is the stool. Really active. Oh my gosh, look at that one. Really active. A lot more comfortable. And we have our work cut out for us. We got to get to clean it. Our new puppies. We have mom too. I think they were had, she had them in a shed with a stray. 
and they could not keep her, so we have these tinies. They're actually in the cat room because they're so small. But I knew you guys needed this today and you would love seeing them. Babies! Oh, precious. Hi. Hi there, Mama Dog. You're so cute. Oh, she's sweet. Yeah. She just wants to be held. This is my first day meeting the Chihuahua puppies. They were only legend until now. They're freaking cute. Adorable. This is so cute. <laughs> okay, tell me their names. This is Stone. Yeah. What else? Hollow. Hollow. Which and Stone's um, the brown one. Cloak. Okay. Harry Potter one. All boys. And that one already has an applicant coming, of course. Oh, yeah. Mom is one. It's cute. Don't step on that. Your little tail just waggy, waggy, wag. Stone. Your butts are bigger than your heads, though. <laughs> Stone. Look at your fat butt. Why are your butts so big? Okay. Ah. Okay. He's got a bag of chips. Oh, fighting. Fighting over some pickle chips. I think Stone's the cutest because he's like shorter and fatter or something. Is that the right one? Yeah, like shorter body or something? I just like that their tails don't stop. They never stop. They're the happiest little creatures. This one's gonna look just like my mom. Mm -hmm. That one? Do you think? Mm -hmm. She's got one ear up, one ear down. basically lives up front. Look at the little puppies in the background. They're just jumping through in the background. Bing, bing, bing. So big. a week definitely full of ups and downs really hard on the kids and the family to lose two of the little kittens um, but the way we look at it is we would never change it I mean hopefully the other two um, which we're calling B and Bop um, will do fine and thrive and become normal healthy cats which would definitely make everything worth it um, but definitely the ups, pulling all those puppies, it's 
a mess and crazy, the Chihuahua puppies. So we've had a huge intake this week. We're gonna skip fan mail this week, um, kind of have a, a lot going on and so had some trouble filming. Plus we have some people out to COVID, which is starting to flare up again. So I hope everybody is well and staying well. Um, thank you guys so much for watching our videos. Thank you um, cons for even considering subscribing. I hope that you do. I think you'll like our content if you love animal related um, rescue stories. But also awesome, awesome job for all the people that donate to Abandoned Pet Project because without you guys, we would have no funding for any of the animals. Let me put this down so you can see Key. Kiki, Kiki, come here. Oh, that's squeaky, whoa said so very offended that is not kiki i am squeaky but thank you guys so much and i look forward to next week and hopefully seeing our puppies start to thrive bye guys